How excited am I for audiences to see playing in theaters? Um, I'm really excited because it's really a, an audience-driven film. And what I, what I mean when I say that is that it's the kind of film, if people like it and they, they tell people, that's, that's what the film is about. It's an experience that's supposed to be done in the theater. Word of mouth is what's going to make this, this movie work. You know, um, the feedback has been great. So I think it's one of those movies you come in, you forget about everything, you get entertained. You don't. It's not a thinking movie. It's just some, it's an experiencing movie. It's like a white knuckler, engaged, leaning forward. What's going to happen next? Kind of movie. And I think people are going to really like that. So what it was like uh, working with my co-stars? Um, I got really lucky. Um, Yo son, obviously um, Gerard or Jerry, as I like to call him, because we've been we made we made friends right now. I mean, two months in Puerto Rico. I, I mean, Remy. The supporting cast was excellent. The director, I had the best time. I'm telling you, like this movie in terms of like levels of, you work in this business and you just hope that you can get along with your co-stars. You just hope that the, that the shooting conditions are great. This movie was all those things and I was just so happy when I was in Puerto Rico. I can't even tell you how happy I was. The people of Puerto Rico were so supportive. The crew was so great and I just can't wait for people to see this movie. My character is um, Luis Gaspar. He's a guy that's been accused uh, supposedly of murder. He's being extradited on a plane with passengers who are just going home for New Year's Eve, um, the plane crashes, and, and basically everything changes. The officer that was um, that was taking him was killed, and now Gaspar is basically on his own. He's a guy with mystery. There's not a lot of backstory. What happens is you will find out more as the movie goes on, but his, things are not as they appear. He and, he and um, uh, Captain, Captain Torrance are basically two guys that are from two opposite sides of the spectrum, and through this this basically this travesty, this this plane crash, they have to rely on each other. And that's what's great about this. Things are not as they appear, and I think the audience is gonna be on the edge trying to figure things out as they go. But it's always gonna be something that's gonna surprise them. The ending. The ending. The ending's cool. I think it's not exactly what people thought it was gonna be, um, but it's gonna surprise them. What was it like coming in Puerto Rico? It was my first time in Puerto Rico. I did not know what to expect. Obviously, Puerto Rico is a place that people go to for, for vacations, and it's a place that people have ideas about. I've been to the Caribbean before. I've visited a lot of places, Dominican Republic, obviously, Bahamas, Jamaica. But Puerto Rico is exceptionally wonderful and unique in its own way. The people are so proud. The, the culture is so rich. The food is so good. Um, the landscapes, the scenery. I, I just had a great time. I mean. For two months, I'm literally thinking to myself, I was like, I gotta, I, maybe I could move to Puerto Rico. I'm not kidding you. I mean, it's just one of those great places. And um, my heart goes out every time I see that a hurricane or something has happened in Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico is a wonderful place and I just hope the best for them.